It's good to see you. Nice to see you backstage. Hello, everybody. Whoa. Great to see you. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Welcome to the longest running live primetime musical variety television show in America. <clears throat> we got big time. Small time, our time. <laughs> oh yeah, we feature local guests, people who have been around the world and come back. We're just having a good time here, hanging out and doing a little bit of talking. Oh, I had a late night last night, I can't believe it. I was out playing some music. My wife called me at the bar and she says, you are in treble. It's a musical variety show. So we're going to be talking about our little green turtle, a picture coloring book about Donald Trump, and a picture of our little doggy, a picture of our little doggy when he was a tiny little boy. Hey, tonight, you know we're gonna have a great time. We're happy to present the, the love lady. She's been performing in every town from here to there. <laughs> Just a real great, great girl. Yeah, she's done it all. I was, I'm up in Lakeport, I'm doing a gym up there, at City Fitness, and the, the gal came up to me after I told her that uh, Judy was be performing up there. And she said, oh my God, groovy Judy, she was playing up at the uh, Beta Breakers, and then at, at some other place, and so she's totally amazed that, that Judy's here, one of the finest young guitar players in, the, in our area. I'm so pleased that she's here with us. She's got a new CD out called Love. L-O-V-E, Love. She likes to give love. She likes to take it in. She likes to put it out. She does the best that she was able to give. Give is the big word in her, in her. Yeah, you gotta give, you gotta give it, you gotta receive it. You gotta give it, you gotta receive it. How you guys doing up there, all right? Good. Yeah, we're so happy that Groovy Judy is here with her band. Yeah, nice to see you people up in the audience. Mickey, Mickey, Mickey Joseph is one of the tip of the top of the humorous totem pole. 
Cat's really great, man. He's been he's been happening for years. God, hey, yeah, yeah, go ahead and do another one. It's nice. Yeah, for years he was in the Bay Area scene. Oh yeah, strutting around doing his stuff. Yeah, cutting cutting off his what you call it and getting and doing what he does to be a big man in the in the scene out here. And then he went all over the country doing that sort of thing. Then he got picked up when he went up to, uh, I guess, Las Vegas, and then that, they went all over, all over America. With, he, he became Joey Bishop, and he traveled with, um, oh, you know, the Sinatras and the Lancasters and the Sammy Davis Juniors, and he was part of the Rat Pack. Did you ever see that show? It's, it's around. It's been around. Yeah, Mickey Joseph is here with us this evening. Yeah, yeah, he's been doing some wonderful, wonderful things. He's, he, he, he's written a, a book about himself. Yeah. Pretty good stuff. And he's a local boy, too. Yeah, he's, uh, he's been doing it. And what is he doing now? I can't tell you what he's doing now. He's doing real good. He's taking time to be with Mama. Yeah, he's taking time to be with the Mama. 94 years old. I just love to see what I can see when people do right. When people take what they can and do right. He ain't walking away. He ain't putting his foot down or sideways or any way. He's taking care of mom. Yeah, the cat's so cool. We'll talk with him when he, he's in here after he does a little bit. We're doing really, really well. I, I'm just kind of hanging in there, <clears throat> you know, with this stuff I got going. And we're just doing the best we can. That's all we know on this scene. This ain't the kind of a you know music show you're going to see on this trashy uh, t uh, television scene. It's kind of, you know, from our hearts, and we're just putting it out there and, uh, and doing what we can. So I'm so pleased you're with us. We'll join up a little bit later. Please welcome now. They're on our stage, the groovy Judy Band. One, two, three! One, two, three! Ow! Huh. All right! Uh. Got to know how to pony! Like pony Marone! Mashed potato! To the alligator! Put your hand on your hip jet! Do that, Draco! 
work you out. Ow! Do it! Wow! Do it! Help me do it! You put salt in my water You put sugar in my soul I can't fight you no more You're making me feel old I try to give you silver But you only take gold Now you're the cream in my coffee you're the light in my day you give me something to live for then you take it away I want to leave you alone you got this heart of gold you've got a heart of stone you got You've got a heart of stone. You got a heart of stone. You're gonna end up alone. You've got a heart of you stone. got a heart of stone. Woman, you can't be so mean. 
I keep telling myself What a fool I've been I try to leave you alone You got this heart of stone Now I give you all my money Money And you throw it around But when I call you you're nowhere to be found
stuff. I can't believe it. What a wonderful, wonderful gift we have. Uh, yeah, Judy coming into place and ah, what a night, huh? What a bear. What a bitch. I mean, God, it's raining really, really well down here. And never mind the rain, the wind is uh, pretty darn good too. Cars, lots of, lots of people out on the street, uh, the whole deal. I noticed Professor Posters in our, our studio audience. Uh, say hello to Professor, I haven't seen him in a while. Say a, a, a big hello to you too and, and, and hope you're doing okay and that, that you know, you can, you can lift yourself and you can say, well, you know, I'm sure things are, are a little rough. <coughs> But I'm, I'm going to get by. And I'm going to pass it on. Because that's, isn't that what the whole thing is? If you're going to be living and you're going to do all that, you're going to pass it on. Groovy Judy, you saw, did you see the picture of, 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 the, of the CD on the, the back of where uh, the, the folks were playing? The Groovy Judy band? Very nice, huh? The L O V E on the front. Really, really nice stuff. I'm just pleased that she's she's with us. We'll we'll talk with Judy and hopefully her her uh, uh, vocal uh, instrumental stuff will will come out and uh, we'll do that. She's with me now. I'll do I'll just be real gentle with her and uh, say hello, uh, welcome, welcome to Groovy Judy. Thank you for coming back. I'm Bruce. Oh God, you're you're. Good to see you. Thank you, thank you. Good to see you. Yeah. God, thank you. Yeah, it's a oh, tough one. Goodness. It's a tough one for you. So I'm, so I'm so pleased that you're here. Uh, you know too. what you don't do with your voice, you certainly do with your, 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 your playing. Your, your performance is just wonderful. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, yeah. I'm a little under the weather. That's why I'm not singing. But it's okay. You know, it happens. It happens uh, we, to we, us all. Uh, we're performing. You know, sometimes. We like we like it that because you're, you're as I say, you're not. You know, your voice isn't taking you around. It's your guitar. That's right. That's, this is my sexy uh, voice. You like it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're really looking wonderful, and you're, you know, oh, well, you're thank coming you. along. And I mentioned when I <clears throat> when I'm doing a little tiny monologue, the the girl that works at uh, Julia at uh, City Fitness <coughs> knew that you were knew who you were. Oh, cool! That you were you did the Beta Breakers thing. Oh yeah. <coughs> and that so she was really pleased. And you you have a lot of people up in that area. Yes, I do. Yeah, love you a lot down in this area, too. I'm truly blessed. <laughs> I've been doing this a long time, so, you know. That's your husband doing uh, whatever it was he, was he was playing, and he's, he's really, really doing well. But who are the other two fellas? They're sounding really good, too. Oh, well, thank you. Um, we've got <clears throat> Kelly Allen on the drums, and we've got Marty Cohen on the bass. <clears throat> nice, yeah. nice. Boy, I can't believe you're doing so well, and then... I'm lucky to play with those guys. They, they're, they're so great and they're so supportive and I really appreciate them. You're, you're very supportive. You, you, you've, you've, you've done so much for the, the musical community and you're a person that, you know, mu music is more than just a notion. You're, you're uh, in some ways, you reminded me of uh, a young fellow that used to come, he has been coming on for years, uh, Kremen, Dave Kremen. Oh yes, Boy, our he, buddy he, Dave Kremen, love Dave Kremen. You do, the, you do assembly, you get your gigs, you put it down, you, so I don't know how many year, uh, um, months a year you're doing it, but, but, but you're doing it, and that's, that's what you do. You don't yeah, just sit it's around. What and, I was, you know. It's what I love, so that's what I do. I do this, and I teach, of course. But, uh, yeah. I teach yeah. music. That reminded me, I saw Tuck and Patty the other day, and they're, they're doing uh, t some teaching as well. Great. Uh, before long, yeah. They, yeah. Were, they were here before, uh, not too long ago. I know, but, I saw. I checked yeah. you out on YouTube, Bruce. You should tell more people about your uh, YouTube <coughs> You're right, but I, you know, I've, only, I've only got you know nine more shows, and that's it. Okay, <coughs> all right. Well, you, you're, do, you're doing wonderful, and well, thank I, I'm you. just so happy. And because I remember when you were at such a point, you were actually you were working at this little station. I know, right? You know? Can you believe that? Yeah, yeah. That was a long time ago. <coughs> it was a long time ago. And I love it, coming uh, back here every time. I just it just feels like home. I like home, it because you know? you're out of you're you, you were here, you're gone, you come back, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, uh, and that, even when I was working here, it was fun. It wasn't like work because I was really like into it. You, you had a, yeah. good, a good flavor, a good feel about it. Yeah. And I think that, you know, passed it, went on to other people. And, and there anything uh, in the area you want to tell us about that you're going to be performing someplace real quickly? Oh, well, I've got two shows this weekend and hopefully I can sing. <laughs> Friday night, I'm at <laughs> Murphy's Law in Sunnyvale. 
and then uh, Saturday night I'm up in Napa at a great little wine bar, Jam Cellars. Nice, huh? Yeah, those are Gosh. the people that put on Bottle Rock, so that's a great little place to play. Do, have you been on the Bottle Rock? You will be. Well, I hope, I hope so. They've talked to me about it a little bit. We'll, we'll see what happens. Well, it's yeah. all, it will all work out. I, you yeah. know, I'm, I, what, we got a minute left? It's all right. She's talking on somebody else's thing. Okay. What, we got a little time? <laughs> Look at, oh, yeah, okay. Look at this. But you can always go to my website. It's groovyjudy.com. All my gigs are there. Oh, that's exactly yeah, where. It's where, easy. Where, 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 and, it's very, and we can come to it. Thank you for being available tonight. Oh, no look problem. At this my pleasure. Little, look at this, our little puppy. Oh, my goodness. Get a shot of that, can you, that's, over here? She, is it he or it's she? It's a he. He's adorable. This is 17 years old. And he, he, unfortunately, has, has passed on. Oh. But he could fit in my hand. And that, that's my hand up there. Wow. By the way. Uh, That's amazing. It's sit my little hand up there. He can finish. Just the yes. cutest little thing. So, and you, I just thought, well, you might be an interesting person to show this to because it's just the cutest little thing. It and is. You're the cutest little person in uh, in in jeans or dress or whatever playing your guitar. <laughs> and you, you know, you're you're doing you're it. You're so sweet, Bruce. Bro. On the same token, <laughs> I could say to you, you know, you've been doing this for a long time too. You only got nine more shows, and we really appreciate you and all you've done for the <laughs> entertainment community with you your know, variety thank, show thank for you. all these years. Yeah, you know? thank you. Really? That's a nine more it's shows huge. until 1,000 shows. You know. Yes, yeah. that's right. Anyway, we've got to wrap it up. Thank you. Hey, you come back and maybe play a little bit more later. I will, but if can I take can. a selfie with you? Oh, yeah, like a it. real yeah, selfie? Yeah, because they want me to uh, shut up. I know they do, but come on. Uh, oh, just look. Oh, selfie. God, look, look at, at that. Man, I have probably the best smile around. You do. <laughs> You're adorable. Oh, oh, I'm going to kiss you. Oh, uh, yeah, I have the cold, you old bitty. <laughs> yes, I want to get you sick. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Thank Judy. Thank you, buddy. Groovy, Good Judy, you. put your hands together for Groovy, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Do I, that, yeah, I see. I feel good. I feel good. Yeah. I hope you do too. You know, you put a little smile on your on your brain or wherever. It, we, we need this big time. All the time. Because whatever was happening in years past is, I don't know, it's kind of dripping off the side of it like a candle is losing its wax or something. We don't need that. We need a lot more strength than, than looking together and forward to what is happening in, in our lives and, and try to get strength. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a strong man now because I can just sit here and just vision Mickey Joseph on our stage sort of dancing around and all this. And God, he's been with us, I don't know how, how many times over the years, over 30 years. He's on our stage right now. Give it a little listen. Give it a little hello. Put your hands together. Yeah, Mr. Mickey Joseph. Hey, hey. Thank you. Thank you very much. How are you tonight, everybody? Doing good? Yeah. Judy was pretty groovy tonight, wasn't she? Absolutely. So uh, it's a rough night out there. I, it, you know, driving out here was just unbelievable. It, the rain, the, everything. I mean, I, when I left San Carlos, I had a full head of hair. <clears throat> so. Hey, that was the first joke. I know I'm getting old. I got ear hair. I don't know where the hell that came from. It's like, it's like I put Rogaine on my head and it must have dripped down. You know I don't want to cut it either. I'm going to let it grow so I can comb it up. You know, just bring it all up there. Just bring it up like Trump, right? Bring it up. Help, help me get it up, Melania. I think Trump gets his hair done at the county fair, you know? Puts his head right in the cotton candy drum. We'll go to war with the Chinese if we have to. Can you believe he said that? We'll go to war with the Chinese. I live in San Carlos, man. They already got me surrounded. You know, so. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, I hope he doesn't cancel my health insurance. Then I got to go back to my old plan, Dr. Oz. Tune every day at 1 o'clock. Hope he hop, talks about that persistent pain I'm having in my you-know-what. You know, Never happens. I exercise every day. I do. I do. I walk every morning. I do not have the newspaper delivered to my house, okay? I walk all the way down to the end of my neighbor's driveway. And then I run home. They say that every man my age should have a hobby. You know what I do? I go panning for gold every year. I go up to the Yuba River, and every year I find a little. And I told my girlfriend, once I find enough gold to make a ring, I'm going to marry you. So now I'm panning very slowly. 
Is that something sparkly? No, there's nothing there at all. I don't see it. I'm what they call old school, you know? When Marvin Gaye first started singing Let's Get It On, I was getting it on with Jeannie Glatzmere, my high school sweetheart. And I still think about her when I'm taking a hot shower. And that's how I lost my membership at the health club. <laughs> at least I have my health. I have friends my age that are wearing blood pressure monitors and, and, and waterproof underpants, you know? And, the other day, my buddy says, hold up a minute, man. I got to take a piss. And then he didn't go anywhere. You know, just. <laughs> you know, <laughs> all right, let's go. <laughs> I waited all day long to say this. <laughs> Maybe not tonight. We'll see. You. I had my hearing checked. And uh, the technician was this beautiful Latina with long black hair, man, she was gorgeous. And when they check your hearing, they get so close to you that I, I could feel her breath in my ear, you know? And she goes, I am going to whisper some words into your ear right now. And I want you to tell me what are the words I am whispering. I said, are you checking me for hearing loss right now or erectile dysfunction? Because one out of two ain't bad, I'll tell you that. Right? When does a man grow up? When? Should I quit smoking weed if every time I want to roll a joint, I got to go find my reading glasses? You know. <laughs> Somebody get my glasses. Is that the gummy side? <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. It's weird, man. I need my glasses in the kitchen now, too. You know, because the Parmesan cheese can is the exact same color as the um, Comet cleanser can. <clears throat> and let's just say mom's teeth have never been whiter. And uh, I look like my dad, too. That's weird. In fact, my girlfriend and I were fooling around, and I caught a glimpse of us in the mirror. I'm like, what the hell is my dad doing on top of my girlfriend? You know, I can't shout out who's your daddy anymore. I'll tell you that right now. It's just it's too confusing. <laughs> So I have a great dog. I have an Italian pit bull. He goes like this. He goes, uh, woofa, woofa. <laughs> he's very sexy, you know. When, he's, when he sleeps, he dreams. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> he, when he sleeps, he dreams. His, his legs are going like this, and his lip is doing Elvis, you know, and he's, he's blinking. He's like, woofa, woofa. What the hell is he dreaming about, you know? I was strolling down the piazza. No cala, no leash. Just the wind in my snout. When I catch her the scent, a beautiful French poodle. I look at her, she look at me. I say, uh, woofa woofa. She got the scare, she ran away. I was so upset, I couldn't even lick at myself. <laughs> <laughs> He's an Italian dog. He scratches himself like this, he goes. I was put in the pound when I was a puppy, separated from my five brothers. They take me to the vet. He smiled at me. He pat me on the head. Then he take him like a goosey and he chop him off. Mamma mia, wish I bite him when I had the chance. When I finally wake up, my woofa woofa was like, woofa woofa. I'm like, what happened to my woofa woofa? It took six months for my woofa woofa to come back to woofa woofa. My dog farts out loud too, like that, you know. He feels bad about it. He leaves the room. Like, Scoozy. I'm sorry. Gee whiz. Uh, thank God I got a big tail. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sometimes he tries to cover that fart up with a woofa. You know? <laughs> woofa. <laughs> woofa woofa. <laughs> he watches my girlfriend and I make love. He gets this weird look on his face like, that's your best to move right there? Come on. What are you? Flip it over. My God, where did she learn to play dead like that? <laughs> She played dead better than old Yeller. I don't... You guys are a sensitive crowd over here tonight, aren't you? Gee, it's, it's, these are jokes. Yeah. I had a crazy childhood. My mother used to bleach her mustache, you know. They put that white foam on here. It's frightening when you're seven years old. You come into the kitchen and Mark Twain is making your lunch for you. I was a kiss wiper when I was a kid. A kiss wiper. I had 12 aunts and uncles, and all of them wanted to kiss me, you know? Uncle John, Ugh. 
Uncle Auntie K. Ugh. Auntie Denise. Ugh. Father Armstrong. Ugh. Hey, I don't write the news, okay? Come on. Gee whiz, this is a sensitive crowd. I'm Croatian Italian. That's what I am, first generation. And uh, whenever my relatives went back to Europe, they always came back with cheese. You know, that was the big deal. Here, taste some of this cheese that your grandma got in Yugoslavia. Mm, it's so good. You, you know, she smuggled that in her bra. <laughs> 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 I remember I was about five years old when my Uncle Billy threw me up in the air and, and broke a, bu a light bulb with my head. Uh, and and, and I, that was, I had my first idea. Bing! You know, stay away from Uncle Billy. <laughs> my mom believed in hand-me-downs. That's where you end up with your dad's underpants after your brother's been wearing them for seven years. They're huge. I get both my legs in and my arms. You know, watch out. I put my head through the door. Boy, if that's not funny, I don't know what is. I'll tell you that right now. Just Whenever I'd come in late, my mom would always say, well, look what the cat dragged in. And the cat was always sitting there going, why the hell you got to bring me on and everything? Really? I'd... I've been sleeping for 17 hours. I don't know what the hell's going on around here. I'd... At least every night my mom came in and read to us. Every night she read the riot act. <sighs> Not a bad joke either, I'll tell you that. Is anybody watching this, Bruce? I am just kidding. Okay. <laughs> the band got that one. Look at that, they're all stoned now. Anyway, um, when I was a kid, my mom used to leave that douchebag hanging up in the shower, man. And, you know, everybody's mom in Farm Hills, Redwood City did. It was the 60s. I don't know if it was a fad. Maybe Jackie Kennedy started it. I don't know who the big douchers were back then, but... Everybody had one, man. And I remember looking up like it was some kind of a weird Scottish bagpipe, you know. It's just, I mean, I didn't blow into it like my brother did, but I'll tell you. I, <sighs> I remember one summer's eve. <clears throat> we, uh, <sighs> when I was a kid, the dentist didn't wear gloves. <laughs> and our dentist had the hairiest hands in town, boy, let me tell you. <laughs> I tried. It's hard to open wide for that, you know. He's come, uh, you know. Hairy hands. He could fill a cavity and floss at the same time. You know. <laughs> hey man, how was that trip to the dentist? Actually, not bad. I had one cavity and a fur ball. <laughs> anyway, that's it for me, everybody. Thank you very much. Back in the saddle. Redwood City, Farm Hills, Douchebag, Douchebag uh, Emerald Lake. We, we lived up right up in that area, That's right. and that, that whole scene is a, what a what a memory, a trickle of memory coming, coming from you. Wow, oh, damn man, that's wonderful stuff. A good friend of mine actually told me about Mickey, and I thought, well, I better just find out what's happening. And then from that time on, we've been sort of knowing each other. Mickey's sitting here with me now. So we'll do some talk and put your hands together for Mickey. Hello, buddy. Good, to, good, good, good to see you. My pleasure. Yeah, you. man. God. Always nice to come out here to Pacifica on the busiest, uh, uh, on the craziest night, night of the whole no, it's whatever. Good. It ever. Bad, actually. It, earlier it was quite weird, but yeah. huh? What? Mine? Your mic. Is this better? Is that better or what? To dream okay. the impossible dream. That's nice. <laughs> thank yeah, you. you actually do have a good voice. Well, thank you very much. <clears throat> yeah, I've been playing the piano and singing a lot, and uh, I actually took some lessons. And uh, you were early really on, you played a little piano, right? Yeah. Yeah, and your daddy. Well, I played my, by ear my whole life, but now yeah, I'm. Yeah. Uh, I found a guy to teach me. Um, I don't want to learn how to read music, but I just want him to watch me play and give me ideas and stuff. I like. I like it. I mean, I'm sort of that way, and I. I I just I tend to make up things. That's why most uh, accomplished guitar or uh, musicians don't like me because I just sort of make things up, and uh, which is fine. Yeah, yeah I, I'm on the same place. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. feel like I can sit down and jam mm -hmm. with a band or anything, but 
as a solo, I, I, I sing and I play, and it somehow uh, it becomes one, you know? Yeah, gotcha. But I play more like a drummer than a piano player. Well, that's, that's, that's really a good thing. You know, drummers, you know how to tell when a drummer is a drummer? How they have drool in either side of their mouth, and which way it goes is how is are they really a good drummer or not? Yeah, if it goes to the left, is okay. <clears throat> there's a crash, it's all right. I don't I'm know. thinking about all the gigs you used to do, and you and then you were on that Rat Pack uh, uh, gig. Yes, I did the uh, Rat Pack is back. I did 1,753 performances. Rat Pack is back. 153. 1,753. I, I did it so often, my toupee started going bald. Is that right? Yeah. Oh. I'll tell you, I don't know. I, I, I think we're, we're OK, though. Wow. Well, and, that, and so that, that's what you've been doing. And then lately, because you're in another phase in your life, you've had many. You've been a daddy. You've been a struggling beginner. Uh, you, you, your kids are all old, older now. Yeah. And uh, now you're with mama. Daddy, yeah, daddy passed some time ago. I'm taking care of my mom right now, that's true. Yeah. yeah. She's 93. She's 93 and she still wants to drive. Oh, God. Now, no. I don't have a joke here. I'm just warning everybody to get out you of the get way. Get the hell out of there. Please, <laughs> watch <Yeah>. out. <laughs> Shit. But, but to be honest, there are some people who are that, uh, of that age that do drive. I mean, they're amazing. Oh, yeah. But I, I don't, boy, if I lived to, to be such thing, it'd be amazing to me. What is it about your mom that really, uh, really sort of, uh, wants you to do something incredible for her, to do do what a son would do. Well, uh, I make dinner, you know. That's oh, that is good, yeah, huh? That's incredible for that me. It is. Yeah. Well, your mom and dad were both cooks, or or or, or what? No, she was she was mostly the, the cook in the family. And you, God, what like? She's, what, she's, you know, she can't cook now. No. I mean, when she goes to sleep, I'm not even sure if she's going to wake up. That's how old she is. Yeah, yeah. When she goes to bed, I don't say good night. I say good luck. You know. <laughs> <clears throat> well, just, somebody's listening over there. I know they they were going to sleep a little. <laughs> but but you have a very strong um, uh, relationship with with your folks, both of your folks. I remember your dad. Did he come to the show and he played his? Did he play the saxophone? Trumpet here? or sax yeah, saxophone. saxophone? Yeah, yeah. He was a, he, He's gone yeah. now. My pop yeah, passed yeah. away. But uh, he uh, yeah he was a great musician. One of the best I've, I've ever heard. And I found some of his tapes after he passed. You know. And, he, uh, he, did he one time, at one time, if you do recall, that he played for the Giants or hmm. in the band uh, of the no, Giants? No, he directed the, the band. He directed the jazz band at Kenyatta College God, yeah. without a teaching credential huh. for a couple of years. Wow. And uh, that was one of his big accomplishments, I guess. That's but, pretty but he damn made a, big. a CD, uh, 22 cuts. Uh, you know standards, and uh, we have that. And he's brilliant. If I play it for any of these musicians, they would agree. You know. So he, then he, he opted not to have a career in music, but uh, but maintained it by performing all the it. time at yeah. weddings and parties. Yeah. And he had a trio he worked with. But his main uh, gig was yeah. furniture sales and real estate. Later. I bet he was awfully good at uh, real estate and furniture sales. He was huh? good at everything. My, so was my. Uh, I didn't. I didn't have. I didn't. I had a father, but I didn't yeah. grow up with him. Uh, but. But we but still my, have the phone. You know, we still have the landline in the house, and the telemarketers are still you, calling. They're like still crazy. nailing her. Oh huh? my God. God. The guy calls yeah. up and he goes. He <laughs> they goes, don't get us. I was noticing the other day. Sandy and I, you know, we're kind of over the whatever the age is that they start stop sending mail. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, all life insurance companies, this company, that company. They don't even send. They send I, it to I got our, a phone call. Send to our daughter and our son. Right. I got a phone call yesterday. The guy says, we're doing some remodeling in your neighbor. Are you the homeowner? <laughs> I said, am I a what? <laughs> he said, are you the homeowner? I said, no, no, I prefer women. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't do it that way. Yeah, right. I saw it on the internet. It looked painful. I don't want it. Too. Oh, God. You, uh, you, you, you've been doing... It's only humor, folks. Come on. It's, uh, it's hard. They, uh, don't make me regret the drive, please. Exactly. We should have a no groaning clause in here. That would be nice for a change. Early, earlier in your life, because you started, I guess, your humor fairly early, who, what, who or what were, were the people that you really dug? 
that really meant something to you. I mean, oh, of other than me, of course. But oh, yeah, you, number yeah. one. But then yeah. Johnny Carson. You yeah, know, of uh, course. Yeah. Watching Johnny on TV, Don Rickles. I mean, you name it. All those guys. I, I watched them all. I, I, you know, I would come home from school and I would turn on and Mike Douglas it. and yeah. Merv Griffin yeah. and, and really enjoy that. And then the, I would get the blanket over myself and watch Gilligan's Island, you know. Oh, nice, man. Yeah. See it. Did you ever play the part of the, uh, the captain? The skipper? Yeah, skipper. No, yeah. I was Gilligan most of the time. I gotcha. <laughs> yeah, the, those, that was a very funny show, too. Yeah. I, I, I remember it. I, I, I was a, uh, the radio guy, Don so-and-so was on KSFO radio. His son does the Channel 9 stuff now, begging for money. Don, well, anyway. Sure, well, there you go. Thank you. <coughs> He's a nice young man. He went to college. This, you know what I'm noticing? I'm noticing that, that some of my jokes that I write end up in TV commercials. Yeah. You know, which is really weird. Two times it's happened. So I'm thinking that somebody's going around, it must be an advertising agency, and they were both insurance commercials. Huh. And, and the first one was, I, I had a joke where I say, um, my father, I, I, the older you get, the better your nose blows. I blow my nose, <coughs> nothing. My father blows his nose, sounds like Chuck Mangione. You know? I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I took him to Pier 39, we made $175. Oh, God, great. Huh? Now it's in a commercial where, where a grandpa is sleeping and his nose is playing music. Real quickly, we only got about 30 seconds, but you, you, you did this. I have this. an extra six seconds of Debbie Yeah, You had a nice... Uh, 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 with Scout Masters, you did a great little uh, f um, feeling. I always thought that should be a nice Saturday afternoon show. Uh, yes. With Scout Masters. Scout Masters! I'm clean and I'm fun. Oh, look, she's Scout got her Masters. hands going around. Well, she doesn't use deodorant. Anyway, hey, Mick, uh, Mickey Joseph, thank you so much for coming to this place and so sharing with My us pleasure. who you are, man. You're, you're really a good cat. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Very much. Oh, yeah, good, good, good stuff. Oh, yeah. So what happened for me in my scene, uh, not for the, we, you know, it took us off the air because they had the holidays and all that. And then uh, and a good friend of mine, Paul, Paul Taylor, you remember him? He used to come on the show all the time. With the Montero Mountain Boys, Paul Paul passed away yeah, in his uh, chair in his living room. Just made me sick. Made me sick. Randy McGowan had heart heart uh, failure, but he's coming along. Marty Ballin passed away. You know the Jefferson uh, Starship. Denny Geyer's had another fall. Al Rapone. God, I tell you. Groovy is back on our stage, and she's 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 the girl for now. The, the, the person for now, and she's going to give us another little flavor of what she's, uh, what she's all about. Please put your hands together for Groovy Judy Band. Uh, thank you. Yeah, good to see you. Boom, boom, boom. Magic woman, got a black magic woman. I got a black magic woman, got me so blind I can't see. 
But she's a black magic woman She's trying to make a devil out of me and Turn your back on me, baby and Turn your back on me, baby Yes, don't turn your back on me, baby Stop messing around with your tricks Don't turn your back on me, baby You just might pick up my magic stick Oh, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Yay! The groovy, groovy Judy, the groovy Judy band. Nice, nice stuff. Oh! <laughs>
Oh, oh, I think we got it now. Very nice. Yeah, the Groovy Judy Band. Uh, yeah, very, very sweet. Jeez. Yeah, I'll tell you, huh? And you, you saw this. This is a coloring book. It's, a, it's by a nasty woman, I think it's called. I know her. F O C K Trump. And very cute. And they've got the, nasty, the nice little things in there. You can. You can uh, you know, do the, color the wall and you know, do all all a nice thing. You're unpresidential. Really, really sweet little things. Yeah, I tell you, very nice, <clears throat> nice little gift. Do we do? What do we have? Are we doing okay? I see. Well, <clears throat> tonight's been a special, special evening. And are you getting anything from there? Oh, good. It's, it's been what a wonderful, wonderful show. You know, thank you. The Groovy Judy, thank you, Mickey Joseph. Get Mickey on the stage too, if you can. Get Mickey on the stage, and then we'll take a nice shot of the, the people. We'll go out with a little bit of Doug Adams uh, on a national steel guitar, and he's singing a song with Peter Rowan. You take care, you take care of yourselves, all right? Try to think good stuff if you can, and keep uh, keep moving right along, okay? All right. Just a stranger on the street Just another story you don't want to be <clears throat> This coast I've wandered up and down 